Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. We're on episode 27. I'm in th this gloomy place. Gloomberg, I want to call it. No, that's not right. I've just gained this ability, haven't I? Yeah, that's it. And I now have to go off and utilise said ability, I would presume. I, I, I don't think I've got anything more than that. Did I... It was in it was in the storeroom I got this ability. And then there was some other key I'm looking for. It's been a while, to say the least. I've, 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 yeah, I thought I dealt, dealt with that, but just just in case. Are these are there enemies. Fuck you. Alright. Nail this. Jump and jump again. Alright, they've all been tattled, that's good. I'm not at full health, okay. Um, I might swap out for coops and chuck in an immediate one of these power shell attacks. Yeah! How am I doing on star power? I should probably use a star attack as well, shouldn't I? What's power lift do? Oh, it's not that good, is it? Clock out, immobilizes enemies. Fuck it, just chuck an earth tremor in there. I'm sure I won't regret this immediately. I am the king. I've now got a strong memory that at the end of last episode, after I finished recording, I might have redid the badges. But I can't remember anything more than that. Fucking nailed that, didn't I? So that does about six damage normally, so they should be dead from all this. And that was for the worthy cost of six six stars. That was as a lot of effort to expend on that, wasn't it? Still money. Money's always good. Gonna ignore these enemies for a bit. Except you. So I have tried in the past. Um, in the past. It doesn't matter what uh, what attack you jump or hammer wise, it will always just be the basic attack when you actually get into it. I'm I'm pretty sure of that. You know what? Might use one of these. Yes, so that's him dead. Well that did no damage to them. I thought it would do more for some reason. I just uh, made an error there. Didn't even get the bonus. I think that's the kind of mushroom that can bring you back from the dead. But because their corpses bugger off. Oh god, that's it, isn't it? They do... Yeah, they do that. Right. What items have I got? Some jelly. Pretty good. Blue sheet. A shooting star. An ice storm. If I hadn't already killed one of these, I, w I would use an item on them, but it just it seems a waste, you know. Might use, might use star power, though. Let's try clock out, shall we? I've never actually successfully used this. When A, B, or X appears over the enemy, tap that button. I can do that. I have the power. All right. I now remember what I'm doing. It's just tapping the button, and it will change every now and again. All is fine. Immobilized. All right, three turns immobilized. So I don't actually know if I've got enough attack to kill them in this time. I try, but does anyone do more damage than these two? Not really. All right, so he does five. Got two turns left. Dash this, yeah. So I'll get the killing. So there were three levels to the attack when I was charging it up. I reckon they translate to like one turn of frozen each, don't they? At this rate, I'm going to level up soon, which is good. I need I need the boost. In fact, if I'm going to level up, I'm just going to have a, the briefest look at my badges to see what I've got. Quick charge, power plus, defend plus. Okay, so... I now know that badge points is what I'm going to spend on. Badge points. Right. You got that. 
we're buying badge points. I've said it enough. Look at that cheeky bastard. It's weird. If this were a new game and they released that as an effect that you're uh, that stuff's just sort of hidden, it would be it would be a hated feature, wouldn't it? But in this, I love it. Fucking knew it, didn't you? Get out of here, Shirley. Even though it, it, it doesn't, because I got that quick change of partners, it really doesn't matter what goes on there. Ah, the tre. Ooh. There's something about these flowers I remember. No, I, I can remember that there is something about these flowers, but I don't remember what it actually is. Let's. Let's get that, you know, more specifically out there. So if I swap out to Gumbella, who's not got any health. Oh yeah, that's what you do, isn't it? I can I can tattle with her and then change back with Mario. That's a crazy daisy. I like that. It's my sort of naming. <laughs> May look totally cute, but it's a serious foe. Max HP is 7, attack is 2, defense is 0. What you got to worry about is it's lullaby. That tune will totally zonk you out. Manage to guard well, though, you might not pass out. Try to learn the timing. Once HP runs low, it runs away. Okay. So in that case, I... Well, they've only got two attacks, so Coops and I have both got one defense each, so they can't really do a whole lot to us. And that one at the front is, in fact, nearly dead, so I'll, I'll kill that one now. Oh yeah, I get to, I get to swap out the partner for free, so I didn't actually lose out an attack at all. Star, it was yellow. That's what did me. Damn it. Um, so odds are, I'm just, I'm not going to be able to kill this, am I? Unless this does additional damage, I I feel like it might do six damage. Oh no, it did the right amount, and I'm three stars short of leveling up. Now, Coops should be awake for my next encounter. Let's right, so sidle on down here. Nice. Oh, great. I'm out of... Fuck. Um, I'll get rid of the in coupon. Uh, yep, okay. That could go on for a bit. Right, there's nothing here. I thought there'd be something here. Wow, that went fucking miles. I've got it in my head that whenever there's a coin block in Mario like this, the amount of coins you get out of it is based entirely on how fast you can hit it. I don't know if this is actually true or not. Or if it's only like it's true in one game out of the 50 that they appear in. But I, I've taken it as fact that it is a thing. I did free damage. Alright, I'm just going to start off with a very simple power shelling. Let's see where this gets me. Right, so that's... See, annoyingly here, if I use this one, I suspect it would do enough damage to kill the first, but no more than that. Um, fuck, I'm going to do it, though. They'll probably all just run away after this, but I only need to kill one of them to get the level up, don't I? Uh, managed to guard that somehow. Fucking hell. Apparently I can do this. Uh, yeah, just a normal shell toss. I don't know why, but I always get slightly nervous doing the really easy attacks like this, thinking I might mess up. Almost the less pressure on it, the more likely I am to actually fuck it up. Right, so I've already said I'm going to do badge points now. But what about more flower points? Huh? I'm of the opinion that you should never, you should not look at the camera most of the time and just look every now and again to assert dominance. That's that's my style. Right, what am I actually going to give myself for these badge points? Well, what I want clearly is the ability to hit multiple enemies at once, which is not power bounce, but the other one, the multi bounce. No, wait. Yeah, see, 
All right, multi bounce is good. I've actually got one more to use as well, so I might. First attack, not that useful at the minute. Quake hammer. See, that's essentially the same as the power bounce. Hmm. Well, uh, what does damage? Decrease damage by one. What have we got there? It's not useful. P. Drop the damage your ally deals and receives by one. See, I'm tempted to chuck that in, and then you just have Coops at the front with his two defense, just soaking up all the damage. But I'm not going to do that. Not yet. I'll just go. Uh, I'll have a happy flower in there, just to just to keep a little. That's like that's a nice bonus one to have in it. It's it's not part of your official build, but it's like you've got space at the end. Chuck the happy flower on there. Ooh, that one's gold. Um, I've got a feeling that the gold one just runs away straight away. Tell me, tell me it's info. It's an amazing, amazing daisy, amazing daisy. This mystical daisy is like the rarest thing ever. HP 20, attack 20, defense is one. Since there's such H height and runs away really quickly, impossible defeat. Uh, right. I'm thinking then. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna swap out straight away because if she dies, I'm boned. And I'm actually going to... I'm going to bring Frank in. Because he'll be able to, like, actually attack it directly. Eventually. And I'm going to attempt to use Clock Out. A big part of my, my strategy here is clocking them out. A, B, or X. Okay. There it is. I don't know if the enemy can throw it back. Or if it's just on you to fuck it up to get it back to you. Like, doing, doing more now, does that do anything? Right. Okay, good. Well, that one didn't get immobilized, so... That was annoying. All right, this does quite good damage, this attack. It's, I think it might be one of the more high, highly damaging ones I've got. I'm annoyed. I wanted to kill that amazing Daisy. I've now got it in my head that it's one of the methods of like grinding out stuff in this game is just doing that a lot. Hammer throw. It's a hammer attack, but it's like a jump attack, so works on everything. Okay. Now, I'm trying to think if I've just gone the wrong way or if I have to do shit to this tree to make it do shit. And the answer was the weird way in which I said it. Is there actually a back path I could have gone there? It doesn't matter. It's quite a good way of making the woods feel more like going on, isn't it? To have like shit in, in all directions. Does this rock? Can I just smash it? No. What's down here? Oh, it's the background. And behold... Because it's further away, it's smaller, therefore Mario can move it, despite the fact that he is also smaller. You see, he obeys Ant-Man logic, and the scenery does not. That's that's how this works. Fuck that. Alright. I need, I need coops. Oi. There we go. You just, getting first attack in this game is a big part of the strategy. That Him doing that was not ideal, though. Have they got mental... Oh, what's going on? What's the peril? That's a coin. Christ. <laughs> that was a moment there. That was a, that was a secret service watching the crowd and someone's putting their hand in their jacket and you don't know if they've got a gun or a camera, so you shoot them and it turns out they've got a camera. It's a hypercleft. That's a hypercleft. It's basically a cleft that uses charged up moves. HP 4, attack is 3, defense is 3. When it charges up, its attack power rises to 9. Um, okay. If you're confident, you may want to try doing super guards. Uh, right. Peril, peril, what's the peril? Where's the, it's a rock! 
fuck you. Get out of my audience. That was fortunate. If that rock had hit her, she'd be dead. And then we'd both be boned. Right, let's um Let's get Frank in here to do some damage eventually. I'm thinking. I might go Earth Tremor. Earth Tremor or Clock Out. Earth Tremor, Clock Out. We could go Earth Tremor, I think. Actually, yeah, we will. It's the old faithful. This might kill the clefts if I'm lucky. I don't know how star powers interact with defense. This will, in fact, this is how I'll learn. Oh, bollocks. So this will either do nothing or four damage to them. Okay, so that hits through defense. Alright, failed that. Damn it. Fuck, everyone's got rocks. Um, it's going to be a gulp then to kill him off. Or I could swap out to Coops. Because his, his attack is slightly cheaper. I'm saving one flower power there. That's, that's the sort of person I am. Quite, I'm getting quite a bit of star, power, star points from this, which is handy. I feel like I didn't like level up much in the in the glitch split. It's because you don't even though it's kind of a combat focused place, you don't actually do all that much fighting, do you? It's it's quite um quite contained. Ah, the creepy steeple. So I, I think like it gets it all goes a bit weird in here, isn't it? Uh creepy steeple? That monster lives here, right? This place makes me woozy. Mario, let's just get that crystal star and get out of here quick. Step one, save it. It's all too easy when you're doing a Let's Play series to completely forget to save it. I'm gonna go full heal, treat ourselves. I'm pretty sure it's cheaper than an inn as well. This looks like a secret route in to me. I didn't even try the main route, just immediately went for that. Right. I knew I was going to attack it, but I just I had to figure it out. Hopefully this won't kill it. These normally have quite a lot of defense on them. Right, you, good. You're at health again. I've decided, next opportunity again, yeah, I'm going to power her up. That's a buzzy beetle. Ah, oh, it's kind of cute. They are cute. Look at them. He's adorable. Max HP 5, tags 3, defense 4. It's got pretty good defense. Fire and explosions don't hurt it whatsoever. Uh, so you just got to flip it over. Nice and easy, really, isn't it? Nothing too fancy going on. It's good to get some style points in. You've got to keep that star star threshold nice and high. Ideally, you want to never be empty or never be full. That's that's my thinking. Right, coops, get back out here. That rock looks suspicious on the left there. Oh Christ. Hopefully I hit with coops and not with Yeah. Well. Um Right, what I ah, I was gonna swap to Goomba because she's got a jump attack, but Frank also has a jump attack, so we'll find out. Does this flip them up or not? It is a jumping attack, so I feel like it should, but it's not it's not like a Mario jump attack, is it? Oh it does. So that's a great attack to use. Poor little guy. Didn't really deserve that, did he? I love when you get enemies like this, where you, where you can essentially perfect the fight, because they can't really do anything against you. Right, when's his style point? It's there, just before he spins. That's quite doable. Right, I'm hammering the B button now in the hopes that it'll make a hammer shot come out. Oh, it did. <laughs> I am absolutely surrounded by enemies here. This won't do anything. I don't know. Because I've got superpowers, did a little bit of damage. It's annoying. I, I could just jump one. Actually, it's probably better off doing the hammer because it's more likely to hit. And because there's one or two spiny ones in there, I won't cock up and accidentally deal with them. 
Right, hammering the hammer button once again. Don't turn your back, Mario. I think they all pause slightly before I do, so I, I get a little bit of a bonus. Right, so I'm going to send out Gumbella. Uh, these might be quite hard to deal with. Seeing as they got spikes. Uh, Buzzy Beetle with a spike on its back. HP 5, attack 3, defense. Okay. Iron explosions don't work. Uh, sure, you know this already, but try not to jump on it. That spike hurts. I'm pretty sure there's a badge you can get that means that you, you can jump on spikes. But I don't have that, so it's not really helpful. Alright. Um, none of those. I suppose Super Hammer is the way to go. It's, it's the highest damaging thing. Or I could use a star. No items I've got will help, I don't think. I need to use some of them, though, because I... I should, I should at least just sell them, really, shouldn't I? Should we go... I'm going to use Earth Tremor, because it will hit through their defence. And I only need to get, like, what, five? Easier said than done. There's a version of events where the pattern to that is the same every time, which might already be the case. And then like you can upgrade it to a harder mode where it doesn't show you it and you have to input it from memory alone, but it does triple damage. Alright. Hammer Ah oh, shit. Okay, this is this is annoying. Alright. Drop drop the fucking thing. Christ, that was that could have gone on forever, couldn't it? Um, yeah, so we're gonna start off straight. Wait, will the power shell actually do anything here? I'm not gonna use a power shell because it. I just remembered it may have no effect whatsoever. Um, I've got that little spiny bastard in the background as well. Right, in that case, Mario. So this won't help. See, this, it's tempting to use this, because I could flip over the two at the front, and then a power shell would kill both of them, but I'll take some damage from the one at the back. It's a risky manoeuvre, because it may not flip the ones at the front. That's, that's the only issue. I was, I was going to go gulp or something like that. There's, there's really no need. Forgot to do it stylish again. Oh, it mini-eggs them all, doesn't it? I hadn't done this for a while. What happened there? Did he throw two at one of them? Possibly. Now what happens if I jump on the front two? Is that is that something worth doing? Probably not. I only really used that mini-egg because I had 10 flower points and it felt like I should. They're so adorable and cute though, aren't they? Uh, I'm going to gulp this one out, just to get some damage on the one at the back. Quite a lot of damage as it, as it happens. Maybe that's the secret of gulp, it ignores defence. I was supposed to use an attack, damn it. Oh, bollocks. All those coins have now disappeared, and that item. How annoying is that? Nah. I must use some items, though. Also, it's a clear showing of how tight this game is in giving you items that I've only just filled up my tiny inventory. And I'm frugal. I don't really, I don't think I've used any, to be honest. Um, I don't know if Coops has enough damage to do anything here. He might do one damage. No. Not even that. Should swap these guys around, really. 
Or I could just use some flower power. I haven't got that much to use, actually. There's no critical hits in this game. Right, I'm actually going to remember to do it this time. Yeah, because there's no critical hits. It, it absolutely doesn't matter. Like, there's no... There's very little randomness in the game. Did I fuck up the attack then? Did it somehow do less damage than normal. Uh, continue to defend. I suppose if you've got tremendous patience, what you can do is you can have the happy flower and the happy hearts equipped and just fucking stall in a fight like that forever because it it can't really damage you so you're not gonna you're not gonna die and just regain all your stuff very slowly that's a lot of enemies <gasps> I can finally multi bounce behold as I immediately mess this bounce up I suspect that was really satisfying like, it didn't didn't really help me in any way but if I use an item, will I... Uh, what have I got? I'm afraid this might just lift them all the right way up. But I'm going to use it anyway, just... Just to see. Okay, it did, and, and it did that damage. That's good. Ooh. 58. We, see, we're over the halfway mark. We're getting closer to a new... Another level up. Oh, Tornado jump. Execute superbly to damage all mid-air enemies. I have no recollection of that. Hmm. Oh, you can just push it. I was so close to just walking away from this door. I was looking at it thinking, how in the hell do I solve this? And just walking at it did the trick somehow. Okay, now I'm at a loss. Nope. Hmm. Right, I'm going to go up there one more time. Just in case by pushing this up I can blow something with Madame Flurry. It might be a thing. Before I just leave. Because I kind of jumped down this well before I had any need to. Right, that's nothing. And that's nothing. Okay, I'll leave. We're gone. Let's get out of here. That's not a bad spot for wrapping up the episode is it actually th this place is m way smaller than i thought just because i spent so long in this room fighting about a thousand enemies it's actually it's literally just two rooms isn't it so the joke is i oh wait no there's, there's clearly a way in just here oh no it's locked can't I use my hammer it's a massive hammer you get through that chain not super quick but quick enough Right, I feel like I'm going to end the episode at the doors to the creepy steeple. Or the rapey church, as the uh, the original Japanese titled it. Is there... What rhymes with church and is horribly offensive? No. No, I've got nothing. Even my disgusting mind can't come up with anything. Okay, there's nothing here. Alright, so this uh, is episode 27. Join me next time for the creepy steeple. What could it be? It's just church, isn't it?